everybody, it's me, Miss Little Fixer. And we have this lovely patient here with lots of callus. And can you see in the middle, there's a little tiny dot. We've seen this patient before, a long time ago. We don't film that, I think maybe there was once or twice we didn't film because we're so busy. But we can, it's better, but it's still there. So I'm just gonna use my 15 blade here. 15 blade, and we're just gonna scrape it back. Yeah, it's still, it's still there. I think it was just the lump of callus mm -hmm. that's there. That's, that makes it kind of... So we can all see it there. That makes it look like it's like hiding. But actually we can see the full extent of it. And we've got lots and lots of layers of that. Have you been running? You look like you're running or playing football. Yeah. Are you running? Because you look like... He's got his running gear from running socks to running pants to running t-shirt. That says run on it. So, have you been running? Yes, actually. Yeah. Did you run here? No, 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 no. not today. Are you planning to go running? Well, not today. Not actually. today. Why are you on your running gear? Sorry, I'm laughing. You just want to tell the world that you're a runner. You look fit. You look like you're fit. fit. You look well. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going today, but today is yoga. Oh, yoga. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. It's like, you look like you're going ready. Where do you do yoga? I don't have those colorful yoga pants, so I'm wearing these ones. Oh, okay, okay. Are you good at yoga? No. Well, uh, not, not, not good, but try, but people who are good, when you see them, you think that, okay, I'm a star trek. <laughs> How flexible are you? I'm flexible, yeah. That's good, then you're good. <laughs> no, no, no. The people, if you see, they do the real yoga, if you see them, they're like... They're crazy flexible. <laughs> too much. Too much, too much. Do you want to get too, too much or...? No, I want to enjoy it. Uh... Rather than, I don't know, people maybe enjoy it, like, you know, they yeah. like a lot and stretching a lot, but... But you, you enjoy the moment, the sand moment? Do you enjoy the quiet? Yeah, climate? I enjoy doing it, you know? Mm. When I get there, you know, it just relaxes a bit. Yeah. Relaxes a bit, so yeah. Is it around here that you have it done, or is that a home? Uh, near Liverpool Street. Oh. Yeah. Is that where you live? No, 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 no. no. So you're going to go all the way to Liverpool yeah, Street? Yeah, it's my way to home. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I used to go to the gym. Uh, I obviously live in Woolwich, mm -hmm. but I used to... Um, um, stopped by North Greenwich mm -hmm. to go to the gym because it was on the way home and the gym was relatively cheap. cheap. I'm just going to use yeah. this, okay? Just going to use a um, two, well, there should be a number two there, but there isn't. Gorge blades, or I call it scoopy blade, and I'll scoop it out. So you can see the core in the middle and you can hear it. It used to be very deep, remember? Yeah, it's not as deep, but you're developing, I think. You're developing callus on the top, on the in the top. It used to be a circular hole, so you, you must be doing a lot more exercise or something. Yeah. But you look like you're you're doing. You look like <laughs> you look strong. I'm making this man strong sign. You look strong. But yeah, you're right. Uh, running, I'm doing like twice a week now. Mm -hmm. And then but, the, because you told me it's okay to do so, you know. And it's fine. It's not too bad. Yeah. It's, the thing about these is, you need to manage it, but you should be able to continue life, right? You yeah, shouldn't yeah. stop with it. It's only when it gets really painful. Mm -hmm. I told you, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a foot all day. Mm, yeah, I remember. How's business? Yeah, thank God. Good. Yeah. Did you get any <laughs> kind of um, support from the government? Um, it's like self-employed thing, so we don't get much. Okay, yeah. They give you a little tax break, but uh, didn't need the support, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So we leave it for people who actually need it. Yeah. That's good. Stephanie! Just, we need to have Stephanie open the door. Stephanie! Oh. She's having a break. She's having a... She can't hear me because of the solid seal door. Oh yeah, one more time. At the door bus, I might need to go to the door. How's your kids? Naughty. Naughty all of them now. Two, kids. just two. Wow, handful, mm. huh? You have to start running, putting your fingers in, in all the electric holes yeah. and everything. It's not the... 
I think they're too young, they don't understand. It's difficult to, as a parent, you know, if I, if I tell you mm -hmm. to enjoy it, then you'll be shocked. Do we enjoy what? <laughs> I enjoy it, but I get false frustrated sometimes. I know, I know. Like, it's lovely. So it's be, you have to be patient. You know why? Because I used to be, I work with my kids, I yeah. was like saying, yeah. you go for shopping and they create a scene and they create a scene like crying and I'm like, oh God. And one day I was like pushing trolley there. Yeah, yeah. You know, then somebody, and I was so, I'm like, I literally said it. I didn't want to say, stop behaving like animals, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I said that, and the guy, a nice guy, very nice guy, yeah. he, he, it sounds older, so he, and he came to me and he said, I know, it's, you know, it's your kids, I'm, I'm not there to tell you how to, you know, uh -huh. do whatever, but he said, you know, this age, this is the age you should enjoy. It will go very quick. Really? And then they become, they're going to become teenagers. Oh. And then you want to forget teenagers. He said, enjoy oh, it. Really? And you know, now, uh -huh. when you told me, uh -huh. now I realize that I, I remember that thing. Uh -huh. And now I realize why he said so, because this age actually goes very quick. Yeah. So all this throwing around and crying around and everything is actually very good. It's very good. I know, I know. But for, I know. Patient, for, for parents, yeah. uh, it's difficult for, for parents, but especially for you because you're working as well. But, uh -huh. uh, being patient is yeah. the key. Yeah. Literally, it's, it's the key. You know? And I really <sighs> admire people who are very patient with the kids because I was... <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult. Yeah, it is difficult. Really difficult. And sometimes but the people who do it, yeah, people who do it is amazing. And people then said to me, "Why have kids when you don't spoil them?" Yeah, it yeah. It's very difficult for me to understand that. How do you do that? How do you spoil? Why would you spoil them? Yeah, exactly. But he said, "You know that you have kids, just spoil them." Yeah. Well, I, 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 you know, we can give them whatever they want, but I don't want them to be so spoiled. I know that they're being like yeah, ungrateful be balance and everything. yeah it's very difficult isn't it yeah like i was brought up in a very non-spoiled way i know i know i was brought up in a way where like my grandmother whenever people would give candy to us my mm. grandmother would take it mm. and she would hide it in her room mm. and she has this in her room this corner a mountain of chocolate and candy and we would go in and steal some. It was like that, that. Mm. And, and we, we had, there was 11 of us and we all slept in one room. Mm. One like, you know, we we're like grateful. Yeah, yeah. Grateful to have our house, a flat. But obviously I, we're not that poor now, right? Like, you know, we work That's hard. Fine. It's, 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 I, think, I think people living together in, in a lot of people in one family, one yeah. house is actually very good. Yeah, family. yes. So I think, there's a good, I want them to work hard. I want them to appreciate mm. the kids. When you hear me, when you're eating, <laughs> when you hear me, I, you wanna, I wanna tell you my living situation, mm. but I want them to appreciate, you know, how hard we work. Well, I've learned it, that actually you mm -hmm. can make them appreciate things in a different way uh -huh. rather than pressing them down on every single moment they walk or they talk or they do stuff. Yeah. The kids, let them be silly. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. very good, good, good uh, for their growth and for their mental growth. Yeah. To them, them being silly. Yeah. And doing like silly stuff. And doing whatever. Yeah. 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 So it actually improves their. Uh, it gives them different sense of direction, I suppose. Yeah, and I think when I tell them off, I always need to explain to them why I told them off, mm. and say I love you and everything. The reason why is because you threw the food on the floor, and. Um, you shouldn't do that. Next time, don't do that if you I can. Know, we, we, we all the same, you know, we try to bring them, we try to give them everything and at the same time we don't want them to be successful and be, you know, yeah. be in line and everything. But sometimes we put too much stress on ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And on them while, yeah. while, while we're doing it. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that way. I've seen success stories where parents literally spoil their kids. Yeah. And they did very well. Oh. Yeah, and I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> I do that. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Yeah. Just take your experience. <laughs> yeah. And just use that one. Yeah. And I want to. I want to. I want to do that. I really want to do that, but I'm afraid. It's, yeah, that's it. You know, you're scared, like, you know, they don't take you for everything for granted. And yeah. It's difficult. It's difficult. 
But do give it a try. Yeah, I will. Uh, you know, majority of the time they're fine. Majority of the time. We're talking about your kid, they're only two years old. Yes, yes, so we don't get ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't get some of water. Yeah, they, they haven't got a clue what they're doing. No, yeah, no, I know. I'm talking about like, you know, when they're a little bit like. You know, the. Early you know. teenage years when they're actually trying to, you know, yeah. see and learn and think of themselves. Let them, yeah, let them. Right now, they're just going through the motion. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna kill this now. In the middle? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's your fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of water. This year is a bit fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid it's all the best fun. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. are busy. Really? Yeah. People are getting more engaged and stuff, or? I don't know. I think because after COVID and everything. Uh -huh. I tell you what, because uh, you heard about Holland, how they locked down and everything. No. It's happening again. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, over there in Holland, they're uh -huh. doing it again. Okay. So people who haven't had the vaccine, they yeah. can't leave their house. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. So a lot of people who have traveled to the UK, so they're getting stuff done. Okay. So the wedding has been like, and people see families for Christmas and everything. Yes. It's time for very long time. Even though the gold is gone. Really? Oh. That's good for you because you probably could melt in and make millions. It goes up and down, you know. Yeah. It's, it's like any other commodity, it's just. Uh, Do you want some silver nitrate medicine in there? You know, for a second, when you said silver, you said nitrate, you're like, what? She got, she, where is she getting silver? <laughs> I'm just thinking about what do you could really do there? Because when you dentists, they have like, they do a scrap gold. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they have, they have, they have uh, Did not know that. <laughs> yes, yes. Learn things every single time. What, they scrap gold from the fillings or what? The fillings, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? So did they make money from that too? What? Did you guys... What? <laughs> Sorry. So they do. They did do. not know that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's not that many gold fillings anymore. Uh, if you think about like how many people have teeth, like when the filling and everything. Yes. Uh, it would, I used to think in the same way. What are you going to get? How many, how many teeth are you going to go through? You're going to go through a lot of teeth that have a little bit of gold scrap from there. Yeah. But uh, apparently there, there is enough for it to be scrapped. And, oh wow! Yeah. So then, but it's then it's biodegrade, then it's medical gold, isn't it? Because, it's, because they they don't just uh, they put them in the bags. Okay. And they scrap people to come and collect it. Okay. Yeah, they go oh. special bags. And, and then I guess they sterilize it and clean and it. And then they store. They, they they go through the whole process of cleaning. Like there's a process involved. Ah, oh, okay. But it makes worth it. Wow, did not really did not know that. Relax, excellent. Did not know so that. You said silver nitrate. I thought maybe she has something. I've got something. Go <laughs> filling in time your foot. <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but <laughs> it's hilarious. Did not really did not know that. I learn something new every single day. That's just crazy. Yes. All right, let's scrap gold. From dentist. From dentist. So you should marry a dentist. You want some gold? <laughs> Nuggets? <laughs> Scraps. Marry a dentist. <laughs> then is this your last appointment today? Or you... I've got one more. Oh. Yeah. Just an infection. Because when I try to book, you're pretty busy, huh? 
Yeah, you always book in advance. If you know you're coming next month, you book early yeah. because you might not be able to get an appointment. Yeah, I, I, I get busy. So you haven't still started like more than... No. Is that for foreseeable future you want to do like... Well, the, the kids are going to nursery, so I could do half day, mm. but I look after the kids. Mm. And you know, looking after the kids is another job, right? Mr. Yeah. Uh, pardon? Uh, your oh, my husband, he works. He's a GP, so uh, he works half day at home. So it's just like, yeah, it'll probably be Friday. I probably no longer open on a Saturday anymore because there's no receptionist. So it gets really hectic about opening the door, like like you know, like now kind of, yeah, buzzing people in. So probably just like weekdays or evening appointments. Um, so. Most likely will be three days. So I used to do what? Ch uh, Tuesday by myself, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, right? But full long days. Your sister was there as well. Yeah, so she does every so often Wednesdays. Mm. Um, but she obviously has her other job mm. um, in the National Health Service. <clears throat> so we'll probably expand it for another day. But also, you know, like your business, probably is not as busy as before, right? So there's, I can squeeze people in, I can see everybody. Mm. And if there's not as many demands, then I'd rather spend some time with my beautiful children, who is irritating. Yeah, <laughs> who is irritating. I love my kids, I love you guys. I love you. I love that you got that irritating yesterday. <laughs> You're two years gone already, eh? Long, huh? I know. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cute. Oh, they're so Oh, I bet. They're so cute. They're so, so. I know. I, I was thinking that, you know, I probably should be less harsh on them because they're babies. They don't know what they're doing and, and I'm just getting frustrated. And I think I should really, like, sh say sorry to them. <laughs> sorry for getting mad. I'm sorry I'm getting mad at you. I'm so sorry. I love you, birds. I should say, say that. I should explain to them more why mummy is, you know yelling at their faces to pick up that rice that's on the floor and rice is hard to pick up rice <laughs> little grey get sticky well yeah just be more more uh chill chill yeah. <laughs> chill chill, just chill. chill. But I'm by the... they, they love you if you're more chill when you when they're growing up yeah I yeah. think I feel like I feel like if they love. Stricter, some some kids listen to it and some they they, they like some push. Don't. Yeah, they push away. The reason why I hate tidying up so much is because my my father would yell at me and and be really quite mad at me. Mm. And I was just thinking about that yesterday night. But actually, maybe I should make it more fun. Yeah. Maybe I should make it more fun. <clears throat> just gonna put some silver nitrate in it so that. <clears throat> You know, they don't hate cleaning. I'm telling you that, and I was just, before I left, I screamed with my son. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It's funny. What did you, what did you scream No, like? he was supposed to be uh, somewhere at half past five. Yeah. And uh, he was there at six o'clock. <laughs> so I'm like, half an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah. And when I called him, he was, he was, oh, I'm just coming out of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, like, what? I'm like, you're supposed to be here somewhere at half five. McDonald can wait. Yeah. What you could have had it on the way back or something. Yeah. Why you had to go get McDonald, get in the queue, and be like half an hour late? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's probably something that my kids. And I was actually mad at him. I was like, and now I'm thinking, probably he's waiting for the next episode when I get home. <laughs> and I'm, just thinking, he's like... I'm thinking I'm gonna surprise him today. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> You're gonna like, he's gonna be so scared. It's like. What happened to my yeah, dad? Yeah, like, okay, I must have done something very, very bad. Yes. <laughs> now he's not even telling me anything. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for allowing.